Okay, so in Acts 1-8, it talks about Jesus had told his disciples that they would receive the Holy Spirit after he left. Because Jesus had died and risen again, but he went back to heaven. He was leaving, and he wasn't coming back. And the Holy Spirit is really the Spirit of Jesus. But Jesus was telling them that they would receive the Holy Spirit. So we call that baptism of the Holy Spirit. We call it sanctification. Big, long words, and kind of a hard thing to understand. But this is how I explain it. So here we have this picture. What's in it? air. It's empty, right? It's empty. This is our friend who doesn't know Jesus. He's empty inside, okay? Now, when we ask Jesus to come into our heart, we ask Jesus to forgive us, become our Savior, he comes into our heart, and so we're filled with him. So now we're not empty anymore, we're filled with Jesus. And don't tell Cody, but I borrowed his milk this morning, and his chocolate. <laughs> okay. So our friend here has asked Jesus to come be his savior and live in his heart. So now he's filled with Jesus. He's not empty anymore. But the Bible also says when we ask Jesus to forgive us from our heart, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside us too. So this is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, it is good, huh? Tell me when you can see some. You see some chocolate at the bottom there? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what happens is God sends the Holy Spirit to give us what? What did that verse say? You will receive? You will see power, right? The Holy Spirit gives us power to follow Jesus and to do and remember what Jesus has taught us. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of Jesus and reminds us of everything that Jesus taught us. Now, he's different. He has Jesus in him. But we also have, he has a choice to make, to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, which means that we ask God to stir up that Holy Spirit in us and make us into chocolate milk. Now, who likes chocolate milk better than white milk? I like chocolate milk, right? So, we ask Jesus, we ask God to stir up the Holy Spirit inside of us. What, do we, what does he become? What is that? That's good chocolate milk. Okay? When we're baptized in the Holy Spirit, we ask God to stir up that Holy Spirit in us so everything we do, we can see the chocolate, right? We can see God. And it's different forever. It's always going to be chocolate milk. Now, sometimes if you let it sit, if we didn't shake it up real good and we let it sit for a long time, that chocolate will go back down to the bottom and it'll look different. We need to always ask God to stir up that Holy Spirit as make us chocolate milk so that people can see we're different, so that we have power to follow God and believe in Him and, and do what Jesus has asked us to do. So, how many of you guys want to be chocolate milk? I do. <laughs> Okay. We're going to have some of this in Kids Church later. Let's pray. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your spirit. And we just pray, Lord, that you would stir up the Holy Spirit in all of us, Father, so we would be sanctified and that we can represent you in all that we do. In Jesus' name.